WP Get Web Dev Tutorials for All User Levels. So, just coming back to this question that was in the global elemental community on Facebook uh, yesterday, which I did a very, very quick video with no sound. I was sitting in a cafe, thought I'd do a very quick video just showing how to do this. I uh, thought I'd revisit this and actually do a proper tutorial today. So, what um, Santiago was wanting here is to be able to extend this uh, transparent uh, image of a uh, woman on the um, uh, with headphones on and uh, being able to have that extend beyond the bottom of this container um, and not be overlapped by the container underneath it. So I ran through this and just showed a couple of ways to do this and some considerations and some potential problems that you can have with this. Now, just to be upfront, what I'm doing these days is all of my tutorials I'm doing, I'm using Elementor's uh, Flexbox containers. Um, now, you should not be using those on live sites, in my opinion, at this point in time, because it is an experiment. It is not a production feature, but I'm hopeful that it will become a production feature very soon. And when it does, my tutorials will still be relevant. So I'm reluctant to create tutorials using sections and columns and have them um, basically uh, outdated uh, as soon as that happens. So you can still use the same concepts with sections and columns, but I'm not going to demonstrate it using that. So heading over to a dummy test page here. So I've got a page with no content. I'm going to add a section at the top and a, another section, two sections here. I'm going to call this my top section and my test section which will be just showing some content. So in my top section, I'm going to, sorry, my test section, I'm just going to set that to a color, a primary color, and maybe make the height of it. Uh, so we've got something to overflow, okay? Top section, um, I'm going to get another section and put it inside it, set it to full width. And I'm going to call that my hero. Okay, and inside my hero, I'm going to set the style or background with this octopus and set the positioning to center, center, and size to cover. I'll then grab a heading widget and put that in there, and I'll just name that as hero. The break uh, heading. Oops, typos. So hero heading, and I'm just going to style that with my text color being white. I'm going to use my big font here. Now that's too close to the edge, so with my hero, I'm just going to go to the advanced settings and go to REMs and just increase my REMs for padding until I'm happy with it. So I'm happy enough with that. All right, now that's all good so far, pretty straightforward stuff. Now, the tricky bit starts when we're looking at the uh, transparency images and how they sit within containers. So I'm gonna grab a uh, image element, just stick it below my heading, set my size to full and grab my Cup here with transparency, which I just got from Envato Elements. This could be anything, could be the lady on the phone, could be anything. Right, so there's my cup. Um, I'm going to set the advanced settings on that and set my positioning to absolute and put it on the right and at the bottom. Pretty straightforward so far. Now, a couple of things are going to happen here is when I change my offset for vertical, as it goes down, it gets overlapped by the section underneath it, and that's because of the natural Z index between this container, so the top container, and the next container. So naturally, this goes on top of that unless you tell it otherwise. So to fix that problem, we go to our, here, our top container, and in our advance, we want to set our Z index to be higher than the one below it. Now, the way it works is that if it's got no Z index, any Z index is considered to be on top of it. Uh, if you are playing around with positioning and, uh, and layers and all that sort of stuff, 
and you have set a Z index on this test one here. Let's say, for example, I set that to, where's my Z index? If I set this one down the bottom to one, I'll then need to set the top one to being above that, say, example, on two. So the numbers you put on the Z index, the one you want to overlap needs to be higher than the one you want it to be on top of. Okay, it does cause some issues in the in the editing. See here, you've now got problems where these little handles here are pretty hard to get to, but that's okay because in Elementor, you've got the navigator, so you can use the navigator to do what you need to do here anyway. So no big issue there. All right, now the next problem you've got with doing this is because we've got that overflowing, if I come back to that image, you can see when I'm positioning this to the right, the edge, the far right edge of that is where all the shadow stops. So that's actually the full size of that image. Um, and that's okay until we start trying to offset that. If we offset it to the right, we want to put our cup over here on the right hand side, down the bottom here, and in this editor when I'm on Zoom, I can't actually scroll that. But I might update this and just see what the page looks like. But here it is there. And that looks okay there, except for if I go to my dev tools and I start bringing in size, see on the right hand side, I've got all this white space. We don't want that. We want this hero to go to the edge there. So to resolve that, what we need to do is we need to clip that to the right hand side. Now the problem is if we clip that to the right hand side, it's going to also clip it at the bottom. So the only way around that is to have an intersection here and have this content in the section below that. I'm not going to go into that complexity, but it's just showing you here if I go to Either one of these, if I go to this top section and I set the uh, overflow to hidden, that resolves the problem, but it also clips it at the bottom of that section. And that's beyond the hero section there. We're going to go back to default. If I go to the hero um, container and do the same thing, it's hidden. So I've solved the problem with the overflow. But I, I've also then just clipped my image at the bottom, so it's not going to extend beyond the bottom. So the bottom uh, the, the, the rule with that is that if you are going to um, have this image extending beyond the bottom, um, you can't have a negative offset on the right, or you're going to cause overflow. Um, one thing you might think you could do is with custom CSS on that is you can select overflow x to hidden it doesn't work what you when you do that what it does it creates scroll bars um, for this uh, image instead of um, just overflowing on the y and not overflowing on the x so it's not it doesn't work the way you would expect it to work all right so what you would need to do is have an image that you crop to the edge that you want it on and then right align that right to the right we're at a uh, right offset of zero. That'll work for you. Um, otherwise, you're going to have to have intersections inside this for your additional sections, uh, and then do your cropping on the on the outer section, which is gets more complicated. So, so that's that. Now, the next thing is if we look at the mobile breakpoint, I can now see that my image is sitting behind the header. Uh, sorry, in front of the header. So again, Z index, we go to our heading, we go to our advanced, and increase our Z index until we're happy with it that it's working. So it can be whatever number that whatever works. So one didn't work, two worked. Okay. Now I would probably go now to the uh, text shadow for that and put some text shadow on it so it can stand off a little bit. Um, and if you don't want it to be so Blurred, you can have a little more sharp sort of a edge there. Maybe even put some offset on it. It stands out a bit more. Totally up to you. But that is how you deal with this. Um, and I would say with this particular drink cup, I would probably create a cropped version of that. 
and have a different version on tablet and mobile and have that aligned to the right um, with uh, without having to shift it outside of this box. So that is one way of doing that. Now, the other alternative you might have is let's say you do actually want this to crop. So what we do now is we go to our hero container there, and our layout, additional options, and we set our overflow to hidden. All right, so that's done that for you. Now, because we've done that, if I click on this image, and go to the advanced, I can now have negative positioning, and I'm not creating any overflow problems because what I'm doing is telling it this hero section here is to uh, set all the overflow to hidden so it doesn't create extra white space for you. So that's one way of doing that. Now, let's say the next step is you want to add one of those uh, fancy little, um, what do they call them, shape dividers on the bottom. So go up to a hero, style, shape divider. Let's look at the bottom. And maybe we'll stick some mountains there. That's a bit high. Whoops. Worry about the width. Maybe not as high. Maybe it's about that high, right? Okay. So what we're seeing here is that the drink cup is sitting on top of those uh, mountains or the shape divider. Very, very simply, all you have to do is click on this little bring to front, front on the shape divider. And that's going to put the shape divider at the front. All right, now we can go to the image and we can move that around. So our vertical offset, maybe you don't want it as far down, just clipping a little bit. So that now looks like it's inside that header. So this is on our tablet, it's working perfectly there. On our desktop, it's working perfectly there. Tablet, working perfectly there. There we go. So there's a few different ways we can deal with clipping or not clipping. Um, just coming back to that, the caveat is that if you're not clipping this uh, section here with a overflow set to hidden, you will have problems if you set the offset on this horizontally uh, and it's outside of the box, it'll create some extra white space. And that also goes for the left hand side. So if you push it to the left, it's going to do the same thing. So hopefully that makes a bit more sense and uh, is something that makes uh, positioning of these things a little bit easier for you. Uh, thanks for listening.